Welcome back guys. What we're going to do today is we're going to utilize the example code that we used in the last tutorial, the get grade example, and I'm going to show you how to take those functions that we created in the last example and separate them into separate CPP files, and we're also going to cover enumerations. Let's get started. The next thing we're going to talk about is how to take your different functions and put them into separate CPP files. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to work with int get grade and we're going to put it in a separate CPP file. How to do that is we're going to go to source files, right click on it, go to add new item, make sure CPP file is selected and we're going to name this one. We're going to call it uh, get grade dot CPP and hit add. Now, on, uh, you'll notice up here that you'll have two tabs, and with the CPP file, uh, any CPP file, you need to make sure you do your uh, pound include iostream, and then using namespace std. Now, what we're going to do is we're actually going to uh, go into our source file and then copy what we have for uh, int get grade and then paste it into get grade .cpp. Okay, so now that we have this, um, there's something that you have to create whenever you create a separate CPP file. It needs to have a header file. So basically, think of, uh, think of the CPP file as like, uh, as like bones and the header file as like your body. So the header file will contain, uh, let's just create one right quick. We'll go into source files, add new item. Let's go to header files, and then we'll call this one get grade dot H add. Uh, basically the header file will be like the body and then the uh, CPP file will be like the bones, like the contents of what the function does. Um, with the header files, um, this may sound confusing but bear with me, you have to do these things called uh, include guards which helps uh, the header files uh, run properly. What an inclu include guard will look like is you have to say pound if in def and then uh, in all caps get grade underscore h and then under that you have to put uh, pound define all caps get grade underscore h and below that you end it with end uh, I'm sorry pound and if. Now basically what this will do is it, it kind of helps protect your file from messing up. Um, now in this header file what we're going to do is we're going to put the name of our function in here which is going to be uh, int uh, get grade parentheses semicolon and so basically this is our uh, H file then we go to our CPP file now how does uh, how does the H file utilize int get grade function basically you go to get grade dot CPP and you have to include uh, get grade dot H and surround it with quotations All right, now um, we're going to be using uh, get grade in our uh, source file. So in our source file, we also do uh, pound include quotations uh, get grade dot h, and now it knows uh, that the function. Uh, get grade dot H will basically work in our source file. Now one thing you'll notice is that uh, right here in our display grade, uh, grade here says that it's unidentified and that's because we've declared grade outside of the source file. Uh, 
um, we have it in our git grade uh, .cpp, but why doesn't it work in our source file? Well, I want to teach you a new word, and it's called uh, prototype. Uh, prototyping. Uh, basically, prototyping is like declaring something without it assigning a value. We're basically just making the computer aware of this is going to be something, even if it hasn't been used yet. If that makes any sense, like this int get grade is a prototype because we're not just uh, we're not. This didn't have any value to it. It's just basically saying that uh, that this exists, that this function exists. Uh, we're also going to do the same for grade. We're going to say that grade uh, is going to be used in a lot of places. So how do you define a uh, or how do you prototype uh, grade to work in all the different files that you have? It's called a uh, global variable. And what a global variable is, is basically allows you to declare a variable, uh, not saying that it has value, but that it exists. Um, some people frown upon, uh, frown upon uh, global variables, but how to use it is you say the word extern, and then you declare int grade. And basically what that'll do is, notice we didn't assign grade anything, we just said that basically int grade ex uh, exists. And when we say extern in the H file, we're basically saying that it's globally going to be used as long as you have include get grade uh, included. Um, so now uh, this should work. Let's do, go to local Windows debugger and it works. Type in a grade 100. You made a perfect grade. Now let's take what we've learned and use it for the void function. So if we wanted to separate the void function uh, and put it into a separate CPP file, uh, go ahead and try to pause the video and do it yourself based on what you've learned so far. Uh, but uh, if you want to see how it's done, let's go ahead and take care of it. So you start off with going to source files, add new item, and we're going to do a CPP file, and we're going to call it uh, display grade dot cpp. Now we're going to uh, include our IO stream. Using namespace STD. Now let's go to uh, let's go to our source file and copy void display grade and paste it into our separate CPP file and we'll go back through and erase that. So now when we go to display grade uh, in order for it to know what uh, grade is, like I said before, you have to include the H file that uh, that has it defined, that has it prototyped. Uh, we have that as uh, include uh, get grade dot H. So now it'll recognize grade because we defined in get grade dot H that we prototyped a global variable called grade that's going to be used as long as uh, it's included in the uh, in the precompiler up here. Um, so now the next thing we're going to do is create a header file. Source file, add new item, header files, and we're going to call this one display uh, display grade add. Now, one thing I noticed is that um, I have all the files here in source files. Uh, they actually have a folder specifically for header files. Uh, it doesn't make too much of a difference if they're here or there, but just to utilize, use it, like to utilize it how it's supposed to be done, I'll go ahead and separate it. So our source files have our CPP files and our header files are in this folder here called header files. Um, I'm going to move this tab for display grade to kind of pair it next to display grade dot cpp and also what I'm going to do is just to kind of uh, skip a step honestly is I'm going to go to this um, get grade and I'm going to copy what we have here and kind of post it 
into display grade. Except for here, we're going to call it in all caps display. This one is also going to be display. We're going to take out this extern int grade and we're going to take out this here. So this is like basically uh, our header file for display grade. Except for here, we're also going to put void display grade parentheses uh, semicolon and then go to display grade dot cpp we're going to say include quotations display grade dot h uh, can you guess where else we need to include this at if you set the source file you are absolutely correct we're going to go to our source file pound include uh, display grade dot h and then now let's see if it'll run local windows debugger hit play and it looks like it works a hundred you made a perfect grade so that was a lot of information <laughs> um, basically kind of go over what we have here kind of just to shine some light on some stuff we have here our different tabs, source CPP, our get grade.h. Let's look at that first. So our get grade.h uh, basically is our first header file. And in our first header file, we declared a, uh, a prototype, or we prototyped uh, grade, which how we constructed that is we used the keyword extern int. Um, if, if it was a different type of, uh, if it was, if grade was a different data type, instead of int, it could be double or it could be float or it could be char. So it's not specific to just int. Uh, you can use extern, uh, you can globally prototype a variable other than int. This is just the example that I used. Uh, we have our include guards, our if, indef, and then define, and then uh, pound and if. Uh, so basically this ties to get grade.cpp we make sure to include our get grade.h uh, here we set the value of grade so uh, we have prototyped it here and then in get grade.cpp kind of remember I said that it was uh, our body so the body of uh, grade is being declared here but the value of it, the uh, the inside of grade, uh, what the value of it being uh, declared is in our CPP file. Same as our function, we uh, see what our function does here in our uh, in our CPP file. But in our get grade.h, we are uh, declaring it as uh, this is going to be used, and this has the contents of what. It, uh, uh, how it's going to be used. Um, kind of the same concept with uh, display grade. Uh, we have our uh, include guards. We have our void display grade. Now there's no reason to use any type of uh, global variable here. Like say if we try to use uh, uh, extern uh, int grade, it wouldn't compile because it would say that it's already being declared somewhere else. Same concept. Uh, we have our uh, our bones of our function uh, void display here and then we have our body of void display grade here in our source file when we go back to our source file the whole reason of separating it is just to make our source file look pretty uh, because here we have our include get grade dot h include display uh, grade dot h and then in our int main it's the, our source file is very very basic we have uh, our includes uh, we have our using namespace, our int main, and then we have our functions. So very, very clean, very, very basic. One other thing is uh, this is also useful for uh, keeping your functions protected. Like say if a hacker was to pull up your code and look at it and try to figure out a way to hack it, if it's separated where you can't even see what uh, git grade does or what display grade does, when it's separated like that, it kind of gives you more protection for your code. The last thing we're going to look at in this tutorial is enumerations. Enumerations is like a list of values starting from zero. Um, so basically how you could utilize that or how do you construct an enum is it starts off with the keyword enum 
for enumeration. And then we're going to use the example uh, weekdays. So enum, and then the variable is going to be weekdays. Uh, you put a curly brace underneath it. Usually in curly braces is what's going to represent weekdays. Uh, we're going to type in Monday, comma, Tuesday. So basically what this is going to do is create a list of uh, variables and assign each of them a number. Uh, by default, enums will turn your variables into ints. Uh, Monday will have zero and Tuesday will have one. Uh, basically, we're going to try to have it set to where Monday is going to be the first weekday and Tuesday is going to be the second weekday. How do we go about that, especially with Monday having zero? So it doesn't make sense saying Monday is the zero weekday of the month. Uh, weekday of the week, what we're going to do is say uh, Monday equals 1. And what it'll do is it'll start the count at Monday being 1 and Tuesday being 2. Now another reason why I uh, want to show you this is because there is a uh, kind of a neat way of uh, displaying values with uh, statements. So basically what I mean by that is, for example, we're going to say uh, C out Monday operator now this is this is where I was talking about using it with output uh, so we're gonna say operator quotations st of the week is Monday in line see what's gonna happen is it's not gonna display Monday it's gonna display one so when it says one and then it's gonna basically read like first uh, first day of the week is Monday and we'll do the same for Tuesday. Uh, we'll say something like see out Tuesday in D, because it's going to display two. Second day of the week is Tuesday. Now, when we go to compile this, we go to local Windows debugger, and sure enough, so basically what we did here is we plugged in the variable uh, Monday, which is equal to one. So when we say see out Monday, it's not going to see out Monday. It's going to see out the, uh, the value of it, which is one. Um, combine that with the, uh, with the word ST, it basically gives the, uh, it gives the statement first. So first day of the week is Monday, and then Tuesday, you know, the value of it is two. Second day of the week is Tuesday. Um, there are some useful ways of using enums, but I want to make sure I at least explain what an enum is. Your homework assignment is to take the code from the previous homework assignment and separate your functions into separate CPP files. In the next tutorial, we will be making a game. I want to show you how to use dot notation, how to create a struct, a class, and how to generate a random value.